Colossians chapter 2, 20 down through 23. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are you subject to ordinances, touch not, taste not, handle not, which are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men, which have indeed a show of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Do not is the, is the perfect description of legalistic religion. Don't do this, don't do that. You know, I don't smoke, no drink, no cuss, no chew, no run around with the girls that do. Well, I wouldn't advocate doing any of those things. But we're often known by what we're against more than what we're for. Isn't that true? You know, Christianity does have clear moral boundaries. But it's, its foundation is a, it's a religion of positive action. You died with Christ with the basic principles of the world. Our identification with Jesus is in his death and resurrection. That's the foundation of this new life, instead of keeping the law. F.F. F. Bruce says... Things which perish with the using, the things which come to an end in the very act of being used. You eat food, as soon as you eat it, it isn't food anymore. It's not what really matters. You know, they're not the ultimate realities. According to the commandments of doctrines of men, he says, one aspect of legalism is that pet peeves and teaching of men are promoted as the law of God. That kind of fried Jesus a little bit. He told the, the Pharisees, remember, hey, I rebuke you. You have for teaching for commandments the traditions of men. These, this has an appearance of wisdom. But you compare yourself, you know, with other people, and you compare your good points with their bad points, basically. Legalism's rules have no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh, either. They have an appearance of wisdom, they look good, but that kind of a self-imposed law, and it, it kind of can bring forth an awful spiritual pride. Well, I don't do this, therefore I am better than you. Self-imposed religion is man reaching up to God, trying to justify himself by keeping this list of rules. But true Christianity is God reaching down to man through the love of Christ. This passage hinges on the fact that Christ did it all. He made us and only he can remake us. Henry Nguyen wrote that it is very hard to stop being the prodigal son without turning into the elder brother. Any time people are not experiencing authentic transformation, as in Mark 7, 21 through 23, they will inevitably be drawn to some kind of faith characterized by boundary markers. We'll look for substitute ways, he says, of distinguishing ourselves from those outside. The boundary markers change from century to century, but they all enforce a false sense of superiority fed by the intent to exclude others. You bond to that, Pastor Steve.